this is Thy Kusk, and today we're going to be reviewing an astrology site. Yes, you heard me right. Um, if you want me to do this with other astrology sites, just comment down below. Um, I'd gladly show you all the different sites you can get natal charts from and information about astrology from. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to be talking about a site that is actually made for an app, and it is called CoStarAstrology.com, and obviously the app is called CoStar Astrology. And I can't get this app, so I can't review the app because I have an Android, not in, you know, an Apple product. It is only on Apple products at the moment. It's only an iOS app. Since I don't have iOS in the Goog Play, I can't really tell you how the app is like, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, the site is pretty aesthetic, okay? It has, like, this black and white aesthetic. There's, like, a grid when you first open up the site. It's just really interesting. Um... The um, charts themselves are pretty aesthetic, and that's why I did check out the site, because I'm like, damn, that chart is actually looks really nice. And basically, this is how the charts look like, um, as you can see. Uh, they, they look pretty aesthetic, in my opinion. They're pretty simple, but they are pretty aesthetic. Also, you can see right here, there's a switch to, to the simple chart. What the fuck is a simple chart? Like, is that what uh, Cafe Astrology does? And it's not. <laughs> it is something else. It is a mixture of uh, MBTI, a political compass, and your astrology placements. What the fuck is this? Um, this is the weirdest political compass I've ever seen in my life. So basically, it, pl it, pl it plots all your points based on the, like, you know, which sign it's in. So for example, this chart is a Scorpio sun. So its sun is, like, right here, and it plots where your sun is, saying, you are here. <laughs> um... That being said, the Sun, Mercury, and Pluto are in Scorpio, so that is what is listed under that sign. And it's just like, yep, Scorpio is right there. Uh, as you can see, it's a really weird setup. Okay, so with that being said, I don't really know what to make of this simple chart, okay? Because this is kind of complicated. And I've been, like, looking at these for, like, two hours, and I don't know how to really interpret them. It's just how, um... I guess in its, well, in the sign's purest form, that's the energy that it has, you know, for example, like, Pisces would be on the introverted feeling side, because that's their pure form without any aspects to it. Um, I think that's what they're really plotting here, and that's why it's simple. There is not much in-depth information there, um, because I don't think you can apply astrology to MBTI that easily. You know, you can't be like, all earth signs are sensors, all water signs are feelers. I don't think that's how it works, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, I just think this plots each sign in its purest form. And, you know, I don't think you should take this really seriously. I think it's kind of a fun thing. Um, when it comes to these charts, because, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to see that and, like, compare it to your actual MBTI type. Obviously, like, with my chart, uh, in the simple chart form, it's does not look like my MBTI type at all. <laughs> um, most of my stuff is on the, um, extroverted, you know, just the, just the thinking, um, side. Like, all of it is, except for my Jupiter and rising. <laughs> that is an introvert feeling. And then, you know, my Mars, Venus, Neptune, and Uranus are on centrist extroverted. You know, they're extrovert centrists. Is that what you call them? Yeah, I think that's basically it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's like how my simple chart looks like. And I'm a very feely person, so I find that pretty interesting. But other than that, like I said, the, the, this chart just plots each sign in its purest form without any sort of influence from another sign or another planet. So that being said, um, yeah, it's all what I really have to say about this. When it comes to the details and descriptions of the chart, it is pretty basic. Um, it's what you typically get from just a random chart generator. You know, like, uh, let's see, like what you get from Alibol or Cafe Astrology. Um, basically like those kinds of descriptions. But it's more aesthetic in black and white and there's grids and shit because aesthetic. <laughs> Anyways, that's all we really have to say about the site. I think it's really cool. And if you're into astrology, you should probably check it out and see the aesthetics. Um, I guess put your birth chart into the aesthetics. I don't know, man. Do, do what you want to do. I don't care. <laughs> 
you know, if you want to see your birth chart in aesthetic form, then go right ahead. What can I say? Anyways, peace out, hug a tree. Thank you to MUMS Universe and Fire Ram.